in Studio B now. And once again, friend of the program, Lee Kamard, BYU basketball assistant coach. Welcome back, Lee. Always good to be with you guys. <laughs> you got the royal memo. We're all royaled out here, ready for BYU basketball tonight. Jason and I were just talking about the purpose of a contest like tonight. I think, hey, what a great opportunity for the young guys, the newcomers, to get under the lights in front of some fans with a media presence. What else goes into this? What's the purpose of the Cougar tip-off? Well, it's kind of a trial run, right, before our season starts where everything will be the same going into the game. Uh, we don't have a game plan because we're playing ourselves, but the kind of the, the pregame stuff will all be the same, the timing of it all. Uh, so it's just a, a trial run and, and get our, our – our, uh, get excited about having fans in the stands. Well, speaking of uh, fans in the stands, I actually saw you and all the coaches and some of the players at last night's uh, women's volleyball match. You look like, and I, I'm you look like a guy that would be really good at volleyball. Did you play volleyball? <laughs> well, I'm an athlete, so yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Bro. Well, I'm an athlete, so of course he did. I played most sports growing up, and then in high school, <clears throat> picked a few. I played volleyball a couple seasons to get out of spring sprints, you know. So, <laughs> man, you're not only an athlete; you're wise, <laughs> there very you go. wise. Lee, when you watched the number one ranked BYU women's volleyball team, what impressed you? What stood out the most about their team dynamic? Well, it was the first time I've watched them this year, but uh, I don't know her name, but number 12 was really impressive. Ronnie, Ronnie Jones, Jones Perry. Perry. Yeah, the way she hit the ball and then their libero in the back row was eating everything up. Mary Lake, yep. Lindy Epic was also digging some balls last yep. night. Okay, all right. See, so you know the volleyball. Yeah. You know, you know the game. It was fun. We, we really put it on loyal last night. Yeah, BYU stays undefeated, 19-0, and and again, number one in the country. So we're really curious the way that you and the BYU basketball program viewed what happened yesterday. Spencer and I talked about once BYU was picked third by, in the preseason poll by the coaches. That surprised us. What was your initial reaction when you saw that the Cougars were picked third by the coaches? I'm a little surprised by that because we have, you know, four guys that started the majority of our games last year. Plus, we have a lot of guys that have played a lot of minutes for us. Um, but but we'll use it as, as a little bit of motivation. And it's not the media guys picking, you know, the guys that don't know too much about right, right, right. basketball, but it's the other coaches. <laughs> so uh, we'll use it a little. It's good. Oh, I love it. Hey, Lee, it's great to have you in Studio B, awesome. man. <laughs> Quincy Lewis uh, told Jason the guys, and I quote, are ready to get under the lights. Um, when you go back and look at what you did when you were preparing for things like this, what, what are those emotions like when you, when you start again and you finally get to play again in front of the fans? There's excitement. There's nerves. It's kind of a lose-lose for the guys on the team because when one team's doing good, the other team's not doing great. And so on film, you know, every possession, there's either good defense or bad offense or vice versa. So um, it, it's good to be under the lights. It's good to see how guys perform on the lights, especially the guys that haven't played here before. Um, but it's just good that people are there and there's an excitement. And, and, and after this, I mean, we get into the routine of kind of a Wednesday, Saturday or Thursday, Saturday or Tuesday, Friday, you know, kind of thing where we're playing two games a week. So that's exciting. I think we're all excited to see Nick Emery back and on the court, in the Cougar uniform. What type of impact has Nick brought already to this team? Well, he's an experienced guy, and uh, he's a playmaker. He makes hard shots. He makes big shots. Um, but just another guy that's played a lot of minutes for, for coach and can help lead this this team. When you look at... Those newcomers. We've heard a bunch about Gavin Baxter. He's a, a four-star guy. He can jump out of the gym. Um, we know about Connor Harding and his scoring ability. But what about the transfers that we don't know a ton about, like Taylor Mon and Jesse Wade? What can you tell us about those two guys? Well, well, Jesse's got to sit this year. But uh, <clears throat> Taylor's coming along as well as the, the new guys, right? Every day they continue to get better. And it's fun to kind of see some of the progression that Gavin and Connor are making uh, as the preseason's gone on. You know, Gavin's so long, and Connor's just a big, strong wing that can really play. So it's exciting to watch their progression. Colby Lee, another of those young Yeah, he, he's been out. He's been kind of nursing a little foot thing the last little bit. But uh, same thing. Like, you know, he was here June and, and some of last year to kind of see his progression and just think, you know, a couple months in and, and what they can bring to the team. I know sometimes the word expectation can be, you know, something that people kind of want to stay away from, but... Yuli Childs is a guy chose not to pursue the pro career, coming back. 
What type of expectations does he have for this year? I think he's got big expectations for himself, but also for this team. And I think for him, uh, the best thing, I think he's going to have another great year. Um, he's been great all summer, all, all fall. He's actually been dominant. He's in a nice little rhythm where most of his shots are going in. He's shooting a lot of threes like has been talked about. But uh, for him, the success of our team is going to be really important to his future as well. You know, the, the further we go, the better it looks on him and because he, he's going to have the numbers that he needs to. But, but how far we go will help him a lot. Lee Kamard, BYU basketball assistant coach with us on BYU Sports Nation, previewing the Cougar tip-off and the season for that matter. Uh, in terms of transitioning from your grad assistant position to now a full-time <laughs> assistant, we talked about like what you expected it to be when you first got that job. Now you've kind of gone through that whole process. What, Looking back on what you've gone through, what has been the biggest change for you? Well, I actually get paid now, which is good. <laughs> um, but other than that, uh, I wasn't able to recruit you know, previously, and that is a big part of it. It's 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 exciting, but also tiring. You know, you've been worldwide, man. Yeah, but 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 it, it it's just nonstop, which is good. But I, I didn't get to experience that prior to, so that's been the most eye opening to me. And usually, it's it's broken down into region. Do you what what's what's your area? Uh, you know, we we kind of have all tried to hit on each of the kids that we're going after. We're really excited about the class that, you know, we have right now and, and the years to come. Um, but we were kind of all trying to take a part of it. Obviously, I went over to Europe to the European Championships and did that. Um, but, but we're all trying to, you know, do our part in the recruiting process. If the coaching staff were to have a, I don't know, free throw shooting contest... <laughs> How confident are you that you would win that free throw contest? 100%. <laughs> the man already said he's an athlete. Hold, hold on. Coach Lacombe can't even raise his shoulder up more than this. So <laughs> by default, he's not winning. He may try to go underhand or left, but he's got no chance. I mean, Quincy played at Wagner. Yeah. You know, but I, at least talking with Q, I don't think he's touched a basketball to play in, you know, 15, 20 years. <laughs> Since he left Wagner, he, he hasn't touched the ball. Well, we take a bunch of shade from Dave Rose specifically yeah. about our lack of ability to shoot the ball. But, I mean, could Coach Rose hang coach, the free coach, throw line? Coach, he was a gunner back in the day, and he he would probably be my stiffest competition. Okay. All right, let's, let's run with this. Let, uh, it's completely hypothetical, but let's have some fun with this. Let's say for the sake of argument, you have to be put into a game. How many points do you think you could score today? Uh, depending on how many playmakers I'm with, I could stand in the corner and probably make four three. So we'll, <laughs> we'll go, we'll go 12. 12 I'll, I'll go four for six from three and score 12. Okay. And then late in the game, they'll have to foul and I'm a clutch free throw shooter. So <laughs> I'm going to go 15, 15 points, three, like three it. free throws down the stretch. 28 minutes of action. Uh, maybe 24, 24, yeah, 15 yeah. points. And can't guard minutes. like I used to, so you, you know. <laughs> Can't have him in as much. Oh, Lee, I love it so much. You were the right choice. <laughs> you were the right choice. Uh, we've got a brand new flag in here. All right. Um, I know that Coach Rose has already signed it, but uh, and TJ's got his signature on there from BYU basketball. But I, I think it's still Rose. Is that still Yoli? Oh, Yoli Yoli's did, at the very Yoli did top. Go I can't compete again. with that. I'll go below him. <laughs> okay. Lee Kamard signing the brand new flag in Studio B. Um, thus solidifying his karma transfer as well. Yes. Whatever Lee needs it for, whether it's to win a free throw contest against Coach Rose or to sit in the corner in a hypothetical game and go four for six from three, you utilize the karma however you want it, man. It's always good to be with you guys. Hey, it is. It's great, great to have Lee on the show. Yeah. <laughs> He's an athlete. Oh, my goodness. I love that answer. That was awesome.